She's gorgeous. Very bolty though. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is the tarantula takeover. I will be doing a little, I guess, meet and greet over at the Fang Hub tarantulas table. I do have somebody with me. Gotta unbuckle him. So right in here, where are you? Right here. Say goodbye to the mature male Grimmistola Polkrapes because he is going back with his original owner. Although his mission was kind of failed with us, it's it's all good. Um, maybe we'll find another soon, I don't know. But yeah, I should probably stop talking and get inside because I am not late yet, but almost. <laughs> So she's filming them, they're filming us, everybody's filming. I feel like, see, I can do when people are talking to. Yeah, I'm ruining it, I'm ruining it. Oh, there's a child right over there. Just <laughs> <laughs> make everybody feel awkward today. Give a slow <laughs> zoom. <laughs> get it. We might have to get it. You absolutely have to get it. That's awesome. I think we'll get it. Yes! Sure. I'm a very convincing you person. Convince us. So I've been here a couple hours and it has been so much fun. I've met so many of you and I've seen a lot of really cool tarantulas, but now I wanna go downstairs and like look at the, the main level of the event and we're hopefully gonna see some really cool animals. And um, yeah, so let's get going. Pretty good. This is, is um, uh, this is Matt. He used to work at Tropical World Pets, and then he left us. How much do I owe you? So yeah, you'd be able to. It's free. An undisclosed price. YouTuber <laughs> discount. <laughs> Back soon. Hi. Hi. I like your button. Where'd you get that? I sent my kid off to your table. Uh, <laughs> those are really cool. I was just talking about. Yeah. yeah, you need this. What is that? This is a rat snake. It's an old world salubri. He's in shed. Ooh. I know, right? It's so it's like a corn snake kind of thing. Yeah. Cool. So you know how like the tarantulas have the new and old world stuff going on? Salubrids have that too. It does, like for the aquarium glass. It's like you can move the dog. No, I have a GHI super mystic in Mohammed's yeah. Plug your channel. Go. Uh, Arachnid Archives. Yay! Yay! I was like zooming 
in on you earlier, like when you weren't paying attention. Oh no. And then he turned around and I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> Show me your wares. <laughs> it's just like, I wow. went back they sold and I like, Oh my god, that's no, awesome. Uh, <laughs> so beautiful. So. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Do you see our selfie or a picture? Did I, I post, see it? I posted it on Facebook and Instagram. We look so good. Like, Do we look like a family? We do. You should We're adopt me. Will okay. you adopt me? I would adopt you. How old are you? 37. Old man. No, I zip tie him. Yeah, but I'm My reptile is very good. I have a mail for you. Yeah. I have mail. You've got mail. <laughs> You've got mail. He belongs to you. My dysfunctional boy. What's his name again? Uh, Suki. And he was your first tarantula. Uh, he was my first. What a what a guy. He well, grew up to I'm be sorry. One of his legs got broken. It's okay. Uh, it happens. I think it's he's okay. It's Reunited and it feels so good. Thank okay. You. Okay, so it is the next day and I wanted to show you what I ended up picking up. So let's just get right into it. First, one of my patrons was there and he got me another jumping spider baby. This is a P. Atiosis. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but I do know the common name is a canopy jumping spider. I actually have this species. This is just a teeny tiny baby, but I do have an adult that I was lucky enough to find inside um, because they are native to here, but they are one of my favorite species of jumping spiders. I absolutely love them. So I'm hoping we have a little bit of luck with this baby because when they're so small, they are so, so fragile, but I'll do my best. <laughs> and then Fang Hub Tarantulas gave me some stickers of theirs. They actually sell these. So this is a green bottle blue, a carabina versi color, uh, of course a tea celadonia, and this one I believe is an M. robustum. And then here is their logo, Fang Hub Tarantulas. I'll go ahead and link them down below. They do ship in the U.S. and they also have a code CAT10 to save 10%. It's not an affiliate code or anything, but I mean it does help you guys out to save money. But yeah, I ended up taking, taking, I think I stole this. I'm pretty sure I stole this from you, Amy, I'm sorry. Um, I ended up taking this from her table. It's a Formictopus cancerides. Um, I don't have any of this genus, but I have been wanting to get this genus for quite a long time. When I first saw this species, I, it was an adult, and it was when I was first looking for my first tarantula. I was going around to different pet stores around here seeing what they had. I didn't really know much about tarantulas, obviously, at the time, and I wasn't really sure exactly what species I was looking for, but I remember seeing an adult one of these and asking the pet store, like, if they're good beginner tarantulas and stuff like that because I thought it was so pretty. And they, of course, told me that it's probably not the best beginner tarantula species because they are a little feisty. So I didn't get it, obviously, and ended up getting a curly hair later, but um, I've really just thought about getting this species so much that I couldn't resist any longer, and when I saw these slings, they're actually pretty big slings, so I, I had to, so. I think I just committed a crime, sorry, Amy, but thanks for the spider. <laughs> But yeah, we need to rehouse it and I'll give you guys a better look, but we kind of, we got to do like musical enclosures really quick because I want to put it in a small tarantula cribs, but all my small tarantula cribs are spoken for. However, this girl is in need of an upgrade, so I'm going to put her in a medium tarantula cribs. However, all my medium tarantula cribs are also in use, so I've got to rehouse this one first into a large tarantula cribs, which you'll see I have quite the, I have a bunch right here. I'm going to go ahead and rehouse this one and to one of the large ones rehouse her and to here and then rehouse the new one and and to yeah I didn't film any of that. Oh no. Well, that was a huge fail. I actually didn't hit record for that, but just so you know, it was probably one of the easiest rehousings I've had in a long time, so you didn't really miss anything. But here it is. This is my Ceracopelma species. What are you? 
Boquette. It recently molted, so it's been like in that enclosure a little longer than I would have liked. So I'm happy we finally have a large enclosure for it. This should probably be, it's an adult home. But yeah, awesome. So that was a really drama free rehousing. Let's get to the others. But first I gotta rinse this one out and clean the poop off it. <laughs> So this little rose hair I actually bought from Tropical World Pets. It was rehomed actually by a viewer of mine. So Amanda, if you are watching, I have your rose hair and she is beautiful. Oh, I see her. Okay. Oh. So I'm trying to be really careful because her burrow is down here and we obviously want her to get out without it collapsing. So I'm gonna try to just tickle her out as best I can. Gorgeous. Very bolty though. I don't like it. Go on. There you go. Touch the substrate. <laughs> Perfect. She already found her little den. Oh no, no, no. Stay in there. Where are you going? So finally, we're going to rehouse the new edition, but I gotta go clean this out first. All right, so this is the new enclosure that I just set up for my new edition. Check it out. These things look so cool as adults too, but I already think the sling looks awesome. Like you can already see just kind of like a weird shine of color coming through. And yeah, I think it's gonna like this new enclosure. I think it'll be like perfect for it. So let's go ahead and try moving it over. Um, since it's probably a spicy, bolty little sling though, I'm gonna be real careful and just do this thing. <laughs> The lid doesn't fit on this. There we are. In our new enclosure. So thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram to use probably way too much. It's at turns to the cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.